Hey guys, welcome back to the weekly vlog. So first and foremost, I have to say I'm really proud of myself for committing to YouTube for nine or 10 weeks now. Um, since the start of this little cut phase, I did one intro video and I have to say, it's really nice to connect with you guys on here in like longer form content. Um, so please subscribe if you haven't, like this video and just let me know in the comments if you enjoyed this series. Um, I'm definitely gonna continue it through the reverse diet once this cut phase is over, but you know feedback i'm always taking your feedback so if you have suggestions or things that you want me to do in instead or include let a girl know because i post these for you and obviously i post them for me too but they're mostly to educate you guys so this week this week it's been a week <laughs> um and as you probably saw from the thumbnail and title of this video it was an off week and I wanted to share this because I wanted to show you guys that everybody has off weeks when it comes to their training or their nutrition or whatever your goals may be um, and I'm not excluded in that just because I am a professional and a coach so I'm human um, this week was really hard and stress I would say was higher than the previous couple of weeks in different ways um, but I also think that the stress from the previous couple of weeks which you guys know we talked about last week kind of compounded and just overall affected me and like hit this week so I know last week I mentioned like I didn't feel overly stressed um, and I think that's something a lot of people experience and then they experience what happened to me this week which was you know when it actually hits so I wanted to share this um, just to hold myself accountable, to show you guys that I am absolutely not perfect. And it wasn't a total wash either, um, which we'll talk about in a second. But, you know, Kai is going through a sleep regression developmental growth phase. So he's been really off with sleep, which has made our sleep really off. Um, he's been waking up early, like at five in the morning and won't go back to sleep. Sometimes he does, sometimes he doesn't. Um, waking up in the middle of the night, screaming bloody murder. So, you know, that when my sleep is off, I'm just not a happy person. <laughs> and hopefully we are getting through it. We had a good night of sleep last night, but he's growing and we can't blame him for it. Um, but we're working through that. And it was just, I found myself being very responsive this week to you know negative messages on social media and just a lot of negative things um covid's picking back up in our area again and just thinking a lot about this year and all the things that we missed out on and what it comes down to is negativity breeds more negativity just like positivity breeds more positivity and this is why we have our clients in their weekly check-ins list two positive things that can be anything that happened throughout the week is because when you kind of take a second to pause and focus on the good you're going to see more of the good and you're going to keep that momentum going and you're going to progress better and faster and sometimes it's really really hard to pull yourself out of that negative mindset I think especially this year um, you know I'm not really someone who's ever struggled with anxiety or depression or just not being a cheery happy person and this year has brought that out in myself and in a lot of you guys I know that it's the case because you tell me um, you know whether you're a client or a follower or just seeing how people are responding to social media and just everything it's evident that we are all struggling still um and i think this week it just hit me a little bit more because one we just don't have the help that we have or that we need i should say with kai and we're being extra cautious with what we do because we want to protect him um and you can have your own viewpoints on this and on covid and on whatever like i'm not going to judge you for that so please do not judge us for our decisions either that has just been really hard in itself running a business with a toddler now who's moving and requires a lot of attention um and knowing that we don't know when we're going to be able to get that extra help that we need so that's been weighing on me um and it's not like we have no help 
our, our parents do come help when they can. You know, dealing with that and then just, you know, seeing other people out and going on vacation and flying and doing all these things and not being able to do that myself, which I guess is selfish. Um, but that was kind of weighing on me this week. And again, I'm a total homebody. I am very, very happy. Um, we live an amazing life here. And I'm super grateful for just having a great year with our business. And there are so many positives that I have to focus on. And that alone puts me in a very privileged position compared to someone else and a lot of other people out there this year. Um, so I'm not trying to like take away from anyone else who is struggling in different ways, but I think it's still important for us all to realize, and if you can relate to what I'm saying, is that our struggles are still valid. So this is something I learned in motherhood, especially the first few months postpartum, the first, I would say, year postpartum. Um, you can't compare your struggles to anyone else's. Your emotions and your thoughts and your challenges are still valid regardless of if they're bigger or smaller issues compared to someone else. So, you know, I think there is power in sharing your story, which is why I'm sharing that with you guys, because I'm sure someone out there can relate. Um, but that kind of sums up why this week overall was just a hard one. Um, so just a lot of like emotional and mental stress hitting. Um, I just couldn't pull myself out of that slump. I recognized what it was happening on Wednesday and I kind of just made the decision to just take a couple days to not track. Um, not that it was adding more stress, but I just needed to like literally chill the f out to put it simply so i still ate really mindfully at this point you guys know and i will tell you like i probably came very close to my numbers even though i wasn't tracking officially in the app um still made good choices i was probably a little bit over on carbs and a little bit under on my typical protein that's just what happens naturally when I don't track, um, which is fine. It, my body probably needed it. And overall, body weight maintained this week from last week. And I think that it was still a win this week considering that, one, I pretty much maintained progress both on the scale and physically. I'll put my photos from last week to this week here so you can see those instead of doing week one to this week. Um, you know, pretty much the same physique, maybe holding on to a little bit of water. But... You know, when you consider things like biofeedback and stress and sleep and all of that, you really have to understand that when those things are really off like they were for me this week, you're probably not going to have a progressive week with your fat loss phase, and that's okay. And I think it's also important to highlight not every single week with fat loss is going to be progressive, even if you are perfect. I think the message I want to give you guys and that I really want to drive home this week is that we're human. There aren't going to be perfect weeks, but that's never your goal anyway, is to have perfect weeks when it comes to how we approach things. I think in the fitness industry and in fitness social media, it's really easy to see all of these top, you know, amazing athletes and competitors and just fitness people, influencers, I guess, with these amazing physiques. And you, it's easy to think that they're perfect and that they don't have days where they struggle or you know have days where they're off macros or you know they you just kind of put them on this pedestal right but the truth of the matter is no one out there is perfect there are days where those people are super bloated or are totally just not feeling great or have terrible sleep or super stress or off their macros or whatever the case may be um so i just wanted to remind you guys to one not compare your journey to anyone else's ever and two be okay with weeks that aren't perfect because that's life and at the end of the day the reason why that you are doing all of these things that you're doing with your training and your nutrition and you know focusing on your health is to live a better happier life there are times to push through and there are times to listen to your body and scale back a little bit and you kind of have to assess when that is for you but i also want to remind you too that that scaling back doesn't have to mean throwing in the towel. It doesn't have to mean you quit and you start up again weeks when you're ready. It's this fine line of being gentle with yourself and pushing yourself to that next limit. And at the end of the day, 
yes, there are times that you're going to have to be gentle with yourself, but also you are going to feel really, really great when you pick up those pieces and, you know, take a second to breathe, take a day or two to not track, take a day or two to not train or apply it to your life however you may need to, but you always need to continue moving forward and pick up those pieces and not totally give up because you had a couple of bad days or because you had an off week. You can always continue to choose to move forward and I guarantee you when you do that, that's when you get the lasting change. So instead of me taking this week and viewing it as a loss or letting it ruin the entire cut phase and throwing in the towel and ending it here and just going off the deep end and eating whatever I want, we're not going to do that. We're going to keep chugging along, keep moving forward. So I started tracking again yesterday after those few days off. So yesterday was a good day. Tracked again, got right back on track. Um, and as much as I hate that term, you know, I think in a sense it does apply, but you have to kind of view it as you're not really falling off track. You're just kind of taking a different track for a little bit and then you're meeting back up on that same track again. So that's kind of how I view the term falling off track lately. Um, you know, but I'm going to keep moving forward and push through this because I chose to do this. This was a goal that I really wanted to do for myself. Um, and it's going to feel really freaking good when I finish and meet this goal in about two weeks or so. So I'm going to push to do this week and next week of the cut phase. And then I will see how I'm feeling at that point. But I think that we're going to call it in two weeks from today. So... 14 days to really push it and finish this phase off as strong as possible before I then move into the reverse diet, which is a whole nother exciting phase. And just having that new phase and that mindset switch is going to allow me to have a fresh perspective with that separate phase. So this is why we like to encourage you guys to to go through the different phases of dieting rather than just focus on fat loss and then nothing. It's not just fat loss or nothing, or it's not just fat loss forever. It's fat loss, maintenance, reverse, bulk, whatever applies to your life at that time. Um, and there are going to be periods of time where you don't track and you're just kind of mindfully eating. So, you know, cycling through those phases based on your goals and based on what's most important to you is super important um, to maintain that progress, still have a focus and still have a goal and keep moving forward. So that was kind of all over the place. Maybe I'm just rambling in this video, but I needed to like get that out as like a form of um, meditation, I guess, or I don't know. It was just a week, you guys, and it, it happens and it's okay. And I'm at the point where I'm laughing at about it now and moving forward. So I'm confident this week will be better. I hope you learned something from this. And if you did, feel free to share, like take a picture of you watching or of your screen right now share it on Instagram and get this message out there because I think that it's something a lot of women need to hear um, as far as comparing themselves or as far as throwing in the towel and getting frustrated when things don't go perfectly. It's never about the all or nothing mindset. Just gotta live in that gray area sometimes. So I would really appreciate if you shared this video. Um, and yeah, thanks for listening. <laughs> I'll see you guys in the next one and have a great week.